Chef Stu Smith here at Fresh Street Market. We're here for the Cooking with the Cap series for Jake Herwinski and Brett Levi's. Let's head inside and pick some ingredients. So for this year's shoot, we're gonna be doing a cooking competition and we're gonna be choosing a secret ingredient that they have to incorporate into their actual dish. We're gonna be featuring Fresh Street chilies. We'll see who likes the spice and can, uh, and can get a little adventurous with what they do. We're here at the Whitecaps FC training facility and we're here with Brett Levi's and Jake Nerwinski. Boys, we got 20 minutes. We're gonna be doing a uh, Mexican slash Tex-Mex sort of cook-off. We can choose ingredients from anywhere across the board here. And of course, we got our secret ingredient, which is our chilies from Fresh Street Market. We've got our poblano chilies, our jalapeno chilies, and our Anaheims. And then we have dried pasillo, dried uh, ancho, and dried uh, chipotle peppers. We got 20 minutes, like I said, let's go. I just, I enjoy cooking, I love it. I've been cooking for, since I was probably 15 years old, so it's something that I, I really enjoy and it's something that I've been doing for a while, so I feel like I'm fairly, fairly confident. He's one of my best friends on the team, probably is my best friend on the team. Uh, we're actually neighbors, we live right next to each other, so we always cook together. So it was, it was a lot of fun to, you know, bring it out to this. Let's rock it out. Whew, Brett's off to the uh, roaring start. What you getting going first? I'm gonna try and get the peppers and onions on the, on, the, on a hot pan first so they can saute down. That's awesome. What about you, Jake? What's your strategy here, man? Yeah, I'm gonna get the onions on as well. Get them a little caramelized and I'm gonna start on my aioli. I don't really need to do too much. Yeah, you're so confident yeah. in your aioli. I looked over at him every once in a while. I could see him looking over at me once in a while. So easy to get in his head. So you guys both seem pretty competitive with one another. You guys uh, regular competitors? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Don't like each other at all. <laughs> he, was, he was over there chopping up everything. To be honest, I was pretty impressed. It's the blender challenge. Yeah. Not, not working? Too liquidy. Oh, you need more stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you trying to go Just for like here? like a, kind of a, a sauce to, to drizzle over a fajita. Okay, so you could go with sour cream with that? I didn't put into account that I didn't have enough stuff to actually blend something. So when I, when I pressed start on the blender, the thing, the blender was actually just spinning around on top of my sauce, so nothing was happening. Okay, five minutes, boys. Probably need a set of tongs, eh? Cilantro on top or no? Three, two, hands up. Hands up. Well done, boys. <laughs> well done. <laughs> All right, boys, so we got through it. 20 minutes of, I don't know, pain and suffering, I guess you could call it. So let me dive in here. I'm gonna start with uh, bread over here first. Hey, if you want this garbage, if you don't like it, you can just throw it in here. <laughs> mm. That's really good, man. You know what? When you were making that guacamole, I was worried you put too much garlic in there, but you didn't at all. Over to Jake's here. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, you made this really hard. You know what? I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about uh, all about flavor, and uh, I gotta say, Jake's has more flavor, better flavor profile. I'd say the tortilla is better on this side, but I'd say the flavor is better over on this side. So with that said, Jake, Jake, wow. you have to hoist it like the Champions League here. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha